Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the brand new Rogue Holster System from Crossbreed Holsters. This is an all Kydex design, two piece on each element, two pieces on the holster itself and then two pieces on the mag carrier. And I'm going to show you a couple of different configurations and different ways that you can set this up for your personal taste. Every Rogue holster ships with a small hardware pack that's going to help you configure your Rogue holster to your liking. It's going to have some extra hardware. It's going to have a series of rubber washers. It's also going to have a connector piece and it's going to have an extra clip. The Rogue holster ships standard with a concealment claw in place. Now we realize that not everybody wants to have that concealment claw and so we're going to show you how to remove it right now. It's a very easy process to do. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So you're going to take your Phillips head and you're going to loosen these screws that hold the claw on and you're just going to take that and you're going to separate it, set that to the side, preserve that for later and you're going to take these shorter screws and you're going to put them in the side here go ahead and screw them down so that they connect to those binding posts on the back make sure that your rubber washers stay in place and now you're ready to use your holster without your claw To separate your Rogue holster system into two independent pieces, we're going to start by removing these screws along the mag carrier, separating them from these binding posts on the back. And to do this, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. And we'll just go ahead and start by unscrewing these guys. Make sure that you hold on to them. And from this point, I'm just going to go ahead and pull it and separate it. I'm going to set my holster to the side there. And what I've got here is I've got my two-piece mag carrier. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take three of my rubber washers. And I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them in between pieces of kydex here. And I'm going to take my screwdriver and make sure that that's centered just by running it through there. I'm going to take my short binding post and put it in the bottom and then I am going to screw in this top screw. Give all the hardware one final twist. And now you've got your independent mag carrier ready to run on the opposite side of your holster. Now we're going to get to work on the holster a little bit and we need to remove this soft pliable bridge that goes in between the holster and the mag carrier. So we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with the mag carrier here. We're going to undo these screws here. And 
So we've got all that hardware over here. We're just gonna separate this and we're just gonna set that aside because we don't need it from this point on. I'm gonna take three of my rubber washers again. I'm gonna go ahead and insert one in the top. Get that centered up with my screwdriver. Go ahead and put my binding post on the bottom. And I'm just going to twist this until it just catches. I'm not going to go super tight on it for now. Now, we're going to take our third rubber washer and we're going to put it in this slot. Right, just like that. And we're going to make sure that it's centered and we're going to position it somewhere along this channel, wherever we want that, that second clip to sit. Then we're going to take not this hardware, but we're going to take the extra hardware from our kit and we're going to use this little bit longer binding post. And you can see the difference in height between these two. The longer one is what we definitely want. So we're going to take that, put it in the back of the holster there. And then we're going to take our little bit thicker rubber washer that comes in our kit. Put it on top there and line everything up. We're going to take our longer screw that comes in our kit, not that one over there. Put it in there and tighten it down. Okay, we're going to do that so that it catches real good. Make sure that it's really in there. I'm going to push that to the side a little bit and go ahead and tighten down these other two. Make sure that they're good and snug. All this stuff you can set to the side. Make sure that you preserve it in case you want to go back. And now you've got an independent two-piece holster and an independent mag carrier can run them separately. Now we're going to go over how to combine these two elements into one. So we're going back to a one-piece configuration on this Rogue holster. Now you could use the standard piece that comes on it already which bridges that gap right there and holds it together. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and use this extended cant piece that comes with it. And all this is gonna do is it's gonna kick out your magazine carrier at a little bit of an angle just to change the cant on it a little bit when you're wearing it. So, basically we're gonna reverse engineer this. I'm gonna take my magazine carrier, set my holster to the side for a little bit, and I'm going to undo these screws. And I'm going to make sure that I remove my rubber washers out of there. And I'm going to take those and I'm going to set those aside because I don't need those anymore. Now I'm going to take my rubber piece here and I'm going to line up these holes on the one side. Now this one with the slot is what goes into your holster right here. So we're going to take these three holes, we're going to insert it between the two pieces of Kydex and we're going to line those up as best we can. Okay, so it should look something like that. And I'm just going to take my binding post. I'm going to start at the bottom this time. Screw it right in. Take 
another binding post. It's gonna go on the top. Screw that one in just so that it catches. Take my third binding post and my third screw. Get those lined up. Okay, now our mag carrier is ready to be attached to our holster. Now, to take care of this, we've got to reverse this extra clip here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by taking that off. So I've separated our clip, our screw, and our extra thick rubber washer. Also gonna take out our longer binding post, keeping all that together, and make sure that I kick out our rubber washer. And I'm gonna repeat that up here at the top of the holster. Now I'm going to bring in the other two, the binding post and the additional screw that I had before. I saved those next to the kit. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it, insert it into that slot in between the two pieces of Kydex and make sure everything's lined up. I'm going to start on the bottom myself this time. And I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. that everything is good and tight down. Okay, and now you are ready to run your Rogue holster in a one-piece configuration once again. To adjust the ride height on your Rogue holster, if you're running it into the complete system, Go ahead and undo the screw. We'll start on the magazine carrier side. Pull the clip off and change the hole. Reinsert the screw make sure that it catches to that binding post underneath. And that'll make your ride height a little bit lower in your pants. Now for the holster side, you've got a slotted channel here on the back that you can use to make your clip go a little bit up and down. In addition, to the extra hole on the clip. So we're going to loosen this up. And for this purposes it's going to have to be really loose. Might have a little bit of pressure pushing that rubber washer in there. Push that all the way up to the top or push it all the way to the bottom of that channel and go ahead and adjust and screw your screw back in and this will allow the holster to run a little bit deeper or a little bit more out of your pants just depending on where you decide to set it within that channel and on which hole 
if you are running your holster in the single configuration with two clips, both sides have that channel as well as the extra hole on the bottom of your clips. And so you can use that to raise or lower the clip to your desired ride height. Those slots can also help you adjust the cant. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to push the cant on this one all the way up to one side. So I'm going to loosen this side, get it really nice and loose, almost to the point where it's completely falling out. I'm going to go ahead and push that all the way up to the top. And just for kicks, I'm going to go ahead and raise Raise that up. To the bottom hole. Go ahead and put my rubber washer in place. Get all of that lined up. And go ahead and screw it in. And then over on this side, I'm going to do exactly the opposite. I'm going to push it all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to keep it on that top hole. I'm going to go ahead and loosen that quite a bit. Then I'm going to push everything all the way to the bottom of that slot. And then I'm just going to screw that back in. And now you'll be using that holster with a considerable cant. To change the Rogue holster from a two clip setup to a single down clip setup, you're gonna to need to purchase the Rogue holster single clip kit available at crossbreedholsters.com. You're also going to need to grab the hardware that went along this side in the original configuration of your holster. Get those ready to go. In this kit, we have a clip. We've also got hardware for the clip and a couple of rubber washers for us to install this. You're going to start with a Phillips head screwdriver. And I'm going to start on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this clip. And I'm going to take my original hardware from this part of the holster. And I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall it right here. Take the screw, place it back in here, and just go ahead and tighten that down. And now I'm ready to install that top clip here on the top two channels here. So. I'm going to take my clip, I'm going to go ahead and put my hardware in those top channels there. Go ahead and take my rubber washers. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to get everything kind of lined up. I'm just going to go ahead and push a little pressure on there. Then I'm going to take my short binding post one at a time. I'm going to feed them into that channel underneath to get them lined up with my screw. I'm going to screw the first one in. 
Then I'm going to take the second and do exactly the same thing. Get them lined up kind of by feel. And we'll loosen these just a little bit just so that we can get our desired cant. I think I'm going to put it on just straight on with a little bit more coming out the top. And then we will go ahead and get those screwed down. Now you're ready to go with just your single clip. I'm going to now show you how to change the Rogue holster from an inside the waistband to an outside the waistband holster. I'm going to go ahead and do so from this clip configuration. If you had the other clips on, you would just remove those. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Okay. Now, to change this from an inside the waistband to an outside the waistband, you need to purchase the outside the waistband clips from crossbreedholsters.com. These are one and a half inch clips. Comes with two clips and a long screw to replace one of the screws on the holster. So the first thing that you're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install on this side first. So I'm going to take my screwdriver, my Phillips head screwdriver, and I'm going to undo this screw and I'm going to set that one aside. I'm going to be replacing that screw. I'm going to take out my binding post. I'm actually going to take this screw and put it into that channel there. Flip this over. And I'm going to put my my outside the waistband clip right there. I'm make sure that everything is lined up. Oops. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down this screw. So there's our first outside the waistband clip installed. I'm going to go ahead and install the second one. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to set this screw aside. I'm going to reuse it here. going to go ahead and put my binding post through there and then reinsert my binding post through my rubber washer in there and on through. I'm going to go ahead and replace that screw. Tighten it down. And now, my Rogue holster is ready to be worn outside the waistband. <laughs>